My greetings to everyone. In my ongoing series of principles of marketing, today we will be talking on branding. So let's start with the topic on significance of branding. Branding is a very powerful tool for the business to establish a unique identity and stand out in a crowded marketplace. It imbues the products or the services with the distinct values, creating an emotional connection with the consumers that fosters the recognition, loyalty and trust. A strong brand serves as a promise to the customers, setting expectations for the quality and experience. It adds intangible value to a company, often outweighing the physical assets in economic importance. For example, the employees, a strong brand can be a source of pride and motivation. While for investors, it signifies the stability and potential growth. In essence, the effective branding is not just about influencing the choices. It's about crafting a narrative that resonates with all stakeholders, guiding a company's strategic vision and driving its long-term success. So let's move on to see the significance of branding to the different segments. So first we will be talking on what is the significance of branding to the consumers. Branding holds a very significant value for the customers as it influences their purchasing decisions and the overall experience with the products and the services. So here are different various points which we will be talking on. So first we will be talking on trust. A consistent and a positive brand image builds the trust and that's how it is important. The customers are more likely to purchase from a brand they have a trust on. Next we have is a quality assurance. The branding often serves as a seal of quality. The customers associate certain brands with a consistent level of quality. Next we have is the emotional connection. Strong branding can evoke the emotional responses, creating a deeper connection between the customer and the product or a service. And there are some products which is often important for a consumer because of the experience. Some brands focus on the overall customer experience, ensuring that every interaction is positive and memorable. And then we have a very important point which shows a clear-cut importance for the customers is a self-expression. The brands can allow the customers to express their identities and values through the product they purchase. Simplicity in decision making is another important thing for the consumers. A strong brand simplifies the decision making process for the customers by reducing the perceived risk of purchase. Next is your expectations. Branding sets expectations about a product performance which when met can lead to a repeat business and brand loyalty. Next we have is community. A brands can actually create a sense of belonging to a community of the fellow customers or the brand enthusiastics. So we can say that branding is very crucial for customers as it guides them through their purchase journey, providing assurance, emotional connection and a sense of belonging. Whether it's reliability of a car from a Toyota, the environmental ethos of Patagonia and a tech savvy appeal of Apple the brands often offer more than just a product or a service. They offer an identity with an experience that the customers can align with their personality. Now we will be talking on what is the significance of branding to the marketer. To the marketer, branding is very fundamental tool that shapes the strategies, communication and customer engagement. So, following are the reasons what we are going to discuss why branding is so significant to the marketers. The first and the foremost is differentiation. The branding helps the marketers differentiate their offerings from a competitor in the market. 
It allows them to position their product or the services uniquely, highlighting the specific benefits and features that appeal to the target audience. Let the customer loyalty. A strong brand can foster the customer loyalty. The marketers use branding to create a lasting relationships with the customers, leading to repeat purchases and brand advocacy. The value proposition. The branding articulates a company's value proposition. The marketers craft brand messages that communicate a value customer will receive, making it easy to convey the product importance and justify its price products. Next, we talk about is a brand equity. Branding builds a brand equity, which is a valuable asset. The marketer leverage brand equity. to charge the premium prices expand the product lines and increase the company's market value then we the next thing which is important is the communication channel a well defined brand serves as a channel of communication between the company and its customers the branding simplifies the messaging and makes the marketing campaigns more effective the market segmentation and targeting the branding aids in a market segmentation and targeting of a specific customer demographics the marketer use branding to tailor their messaging to the needs and preferences of a distinct market segments so this market segmentation and targeting is very very important as it definitely gives a very important tailor message uh to satisfy the needs and the preferences of the distinct market needs strategic direction branding provides a strategic direction for the development of marketing plans and activities it helps the marketers align campaign with the brand's voice and identity ensuring a consistency across all platforms Next important aspect is your emotional connection. Branding creates an emotional connection with the consumers. The marketing uses this to build a relationship that goes beyond the functional attributes of the product or the service. So in the essence we can say branding is a marketer's blueprint for building a long-term value, cultivating the customer relationships. and guiding a narrative around the product or the service so it is an essential component of any successful marketing strategy providing a framework for understanding and influencing the customer behavior now there is an important aspect and a significance of branding which it gives to the society also like identification and differentiation the brands help the individuals identify and differentiate between the products and the services the trust and reliability the strong brands build trust and reliability the cultural and social influence the brands often reflect a shape societal values culture and trends job creation and economic growth the brands contribute to job creation and economic growth community engagement Many brands engage in corporate social responsibility and community development initiatives. Next important point is your standardization and quality assurance. Brands often reflect a standard of quality and consistency. Then we have important aspect of the cultural exchange. The global brands facilitate the cultural exchange by bringing the products and ideas from the different parts of the world to the society so we can say that branding significantly impacts the society by influencing the consumer choices reflecting and shaping the cultural values contributing to economic growth and promoting the social responsibility now there are some essentials of a good brand name like memorability 
a memorable brand name is the one that is easy to recall, helping the consumers remember and recognize the brand when making a purchasing decision. Now coming on to the relevance, a relevant brand name effectively communicates something meaningful about what a brand represents, aligning with its products, services or identity. A distinctive brand name stands out from the competitors and is unique within its industry, helping a brand to be memorable and recognizable. Now, talking about another important feature which a brand should have is a clarity. A clear brand name is easily understood and instantly it conveys the brand's purpose or the value propositions to the consumers. Versatility. So, versatile brand name allows for the future growth, for expansion, working across the different product lines and the business ventures. The cultural and linguistic sensitivity is another important feature a brand should have. A good brand name should consider linguistic and the cultural implication, especially for the global brands, ensuring it is easy to pronounce and culturally appropriate in different regions. Another important aspect which a brand should have is the emotional resonance. A good brand name can evoke a positive emotions or associations, providing an emotional connection with the consumers. Another important aspect which a brand should have is a domain availability and online presence. In today's digital era, it's very crucial to consider the domain availability from the brand name, ensuring it aligns with the brand online presence. Scalability and industry agnotism. A good brand name should be scalable, working across the different product lines and the business ventures, transcending a very specific industry. The legal and the trademark considerations is important also, which shows like in another example of Microsoft, which is a well-protected brand name that is trademarked, uh, safeguarding the market's identity and intellectual property. So these were the examples and these features must be present in a brand to become famous. Thank you so much.